In our previous video, we talk about um, position uh, relative and talk about position absolute. Now we'll talk about uh, position fixed. So what I want to do in this case is my heading, which is this one, the yellow one, I want to fix it on, on the page. So let me increase the size of this one so we can have a better picture. So my height of the container is 1000 pixels. And if you see that, now we have a position of, uh, uh, so we have a longer page now. Now, if you see that all the values are absolute, all the positions are absolute. So if I move page up and down, everything goes up and down. But my problem is that I want to make the heading fixed. So what I will do is I'll just make the heading fixed. And now if I refresh the page and I move up, you will see that all items are moving except the heading because heading is fixed, okay? Now, I want to push the heading down, yeah, 50, 50 pixels down. So what I will do is I'll say, okay, make this heading away from top, how much? 50 pixels and refresh the page now. Now, if you see that, some of the portion of the aside is coming on the on the top of heading. Okay, we'll talk about that. And now what I want to do is I want to move my aside behind the uh, behind the heading. So what I will do is I'll use the Z index property. I'll say, okay, uh, although position is absolute from left to zero, uh, it should be zero. Z index should be zero. And now, so if you see no change happen, huh? uh, I will do it minus one. So let's see with minus one, what happened? Oh, minus one, it went to the back. And by the way, it went to the back of container. Okay, so what I will do is to bring him up. So I'll make sure that my container is behind the aside. So I will change the Z index and I'll say minus two. So I will decrease the container position further to the negative side. And now, you know, minus one is bigger than minus two. So it should be on the top. There you go. And, but now if you see that it is coming behind the, it is coming behind the position, um, be, behind the heading. So uh, because the heading position is, um, the heading position is, uh, I can make the Z index of this one to minus one, for example. So let's see what happened. It comes on the top, okay? Uh, I want to make it zero. If I want to make it zero, so zero is higher than higher than uh, minus one. So you will see that the higher value will come on the top. So you see here? So that is how we can play around with a fixed uh, we can change the position, we can bring them to the front and we can go send them to the back. So that is how we are going to, you know, uh, play around. So let me see if I can make it top like 30 or 30. And then you will see that the aside is coming on the back of. So if I say aside is one, now you can see that the one has the higher power so it will come in front of the header. So I hope this will help you in uh, getting the clear idea about, about the uh, CSS positioning. Huh? Thank you for listening. Hope to see you next time.